Hello everybody, this is Dr. Sayed Mujahid Hussain. I'm a consultant pediatrician practicing at Goodwill Children's Clinic, Bangalore. Uh, on this occasion of World uh, uh, Digestive Health Day 2023, I would like to give certain tips and certain information about uh, the biggest, the most important organ in the body, which is often ignored, which is called as gastrointestinal tract, GI tract, also known as gut, in whatever terminology you can call it as, yeah? Uh, statistics say that 40% of the world population suffers from some or the other uh, digestive uh, health related issues. In fact, uh, in, when it comes to pediatric population, our infants and toddlers are the most vulnerable. Yeah. Uh, so now this, this uh, digestive system itself is, is a hot topic and it is called a second brain simply because uh, uh, it has got trillions of bacteria lined inside which basically protect uh, our system protect our children both physically and mentally and uh, keeps them strong right in fact a very uh, famous uh, uh, philosopher hippocrates uh, had uh, said that uh, 70 percent uh, of uh, diseases emerge from the gut that is true because uh, more than 70 80 percent of entire immune system lies in the gut itself yeah so one of the most common uh, digestive related issues we come across uh, in pediatric population is constipation, which is uh, close to about 30 to 40 percent, and hyperacidity, which is about 25 percent, and diarrhea, which is also close to about 30 to 35 percent. Right? Uh, constipation is something which which often ignored uh, issue among children. Uh, the common presenting symptoms are uh, loose motions, abdominal pain, mood swings, uh, behavioral issues, digestive problems, absorption problems, immunity related issues. Uh, right? And also. Um, a crankiness because and irritability because of the digestive irritation, right? So these are the most common symptoms uh, children uh, come to us. Um, and uh, see, uh, I always advise parents to take care of the children's gut health. Very very important because uh, what they eat matters a lot. How they eat matters a lot, and uh, how frequent uh, meals have been given matters a lot. So some tips for the parents as to how you can improve your children's gut health. Number one, if you are if you have a baby who's about who's an infant who's less than one year, uh, exclusive breastfeeding till about six months of life, uh, followed by of course formula, or you can start with uh, the natural weaning food, soft, uh, easily digestible weaning foods. Avoid fatty foods in their diet. Include more fiber in their foods. Okay, and use probiotics whenever required, whenever necessary, because they always have a protective, uh, you know, uh, contribution towards that. And uh, uh, give frequent uh, meals in, in regular intervals so the digestion is better. Uh, and also make sure that your children drink enough water, plenty of liquids to be to be offered. Mm. Also make sure that they play well outside after meals uh, because that helps in uh, digesting the food much better. And avoid antibiotics uh, as much as you can. Use it only when necessary. Mm. Only if your doctor prescribes it, then only you can go for it. However, if you find any unusual problem regarding gut health, any unusual uh, symptoms like bloody diarrhea or severe abdominal pains or profuse vomitings or anything of that sort, please consult your pediatrician for further evaluation. So on this day of World Digestive Health Day, let's take a pledge to take care of our children's gut as well as our gut by, by providing natural, healthy, uh, nourishing foods and uh, which, can, which can actually help them in the long run as well as in the short run to have a better lifestyle throughout. Thank you so much for the wonderful audience.